got to start fast. We got to go fast. We got to get it going. Because I want to see if I can squeeze in the, mon the uh, monster marathon, too. Just get straight to it. Start it up. Boom, baby. Let's get through it to it. What's your week two again? Yep, poison, just like I had assumed. And let's start taking off, huh? Alright. Gotta have a fast start. Gotta get ready to start gunning down all these degenerates. Because this this guy right here, oh, he's a degenerate. Degeneracy everywhere. Robots? That's degenerate. Get them out of my house. He's weak to poison, luckily, so I, that, that gives me a very good time when it comes to continued murder. Alright, Lance needs to get out of here, though. I wanted him to build up his overlimit just a little bit, but it didn't quite work out, so I'll just tag him out. Oh, well. I mean, pretty much I got what I wanted, so what's whatever. Okay, what are you weak to? You know what? Uh, doesn't matter what you're weak to, we're doing this. That's just really makes my life quite a bit easier, you know? I don't gotta worry about nothing. So what's he still weak to? Can he be burned? No, he's immune to burn, okay. He's really weak to being tired inflicted though, huh? Uh, pretty much irrelevant, but okay. And there you go. Irrelevant, I say. <laughs> oh, there it is. Now he has lowered accuracy. Now he has lower evasion. And now it's time to keep slapping him with bamboo traps chunking through this man's HP. It's free damage. He's lowering his accuracy. We're keeping the damage up because of the, like, the pseudo temper that, you know, Matt has. It's a good time. I've got to worry about it. We can actually start buffing now that I think about it. This dude's pretty much dead to rights, so we're going to pop a temper. Yeah, I was going to... I almost tempered Natalie. Not quite what we're doing. How Aurora. This is epic battle fantasy. So, yeah, this isn't... Wait a minute, what's going on here? This ain't Terraria. This is the other project I'm doing. Where, unlike the morning streams, which morning streams currently are for Terraria, my afternoon streams are for epic battle fantasy. This is the bonus, like, post-game content for the fourth game in a series. So we're, we're, we're pretty far in at this point. But this game's epic battle fantasy. It was made by the... It was made by a RPG fan way back in the days. Like, I'm talking, this is back when Newgrounds was still popular. These were a bunch of Flash... I got close. These were made back when Flash games were still popular. Because Epic Battle 1 through 3 were all Flash. I think maybe this one's Flash, I'm not sure. But, those are like the typical old-fashioned Flash games. And this one is the same, or this is a, a series he's been carrying on since those days. First one was a very, first two were very simple battle simulators, lots of inside jokes, and pretty much just, I made a fighting game, it's a Final Fantasy. Third one was like a rough, full game that's actually out on Steam and it's free, and this one is an actual, genuine product. It's for all those RPG fans out here. Dude, I still love Flash games, that's why I started this series. I wanted to get the word out there that this series still exists. Because I also, the main reason I did it, because I know this game series is not exactly popular, but I wanted to, you know, do something that I personally felt impassioned about, because I've been loving this series since I was a kid, and the fifth game in the series is 95% complete. And I wanted to be, hey, yeah, I got a hair in my mouth, that's not quite right. Is my beard bleeding into my face again? That's not kosher. But yeah. Really, that's it. And this is, this is a mainstay, like kind of, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But this is a, do you like, like OG, like Final Fantasy, Bat Dragon Quest, turn-based combat? I personally really do, and if you've checked any of the VODs in my YouTube channel, that's most of my content. So I kind of branched out a bit more with Terraria, but I'm particularly very impassioned about it. That's why the name is even so generic. It's just what it is. You know, epic battle fantasy. I mean, that's... You can't get much more ham-fisted than that one now, can you? But I enjoy it. So what we're doing right now is we're at the... We've completed the optional super dungeon at the very end of the game. We've beaten the whole game. This is also on the hardest difficulty, too, because I wanted to show that off. And what we're doing right now is, like, the premium content. Because this game is technically free on, like... 
Flash game site. I'm not sure specifically where it's actually hosted, but uh, if you buy the Steam version, which I think is like $15, you gain access to Battle Mountain. And this is Battle Mountain. You get to fight all the bosses in like super retrained mega versions. And we're doing the final challenge of said mountain where we're fighting every single boss throughout the game's super version in a row. It's a marathon. It is the hardest challenge in the game. There's actually four of them. The first and first and second ones we had already done, we did in the last video, which was optional in mini bosses, and then the base bosses, and now we're doing upgraded bosses. We're having a fun time here. But one problem we are having is we are reaching the end of uh, this game. This game series. I've been doing this for a little while now. It's very cool. Avoid, like, one thing you may be seeing is because I'm playing on epic difficulty, this is one of those games where the only way... Okay, well this is more so a me issue because I'm very experienced when it comes to RPGs. Not to, you know, be like all braggart or anything, but it's just how it is. I've been playing games for 21 years. And well, the problem is, is that games like this aren't hard for me anymore. So I have to play on the harder difficulties. And this is the kind of game where to gain some actual challenge, it has to also crank up their HP and defense by a hundred, it's doubled, effectively. All of their stats are doubled right now because it's epic difficulty. And one problem with that is not only can I actually start dying and having a struggle, but enemies have a lot of HP like this is the thing. Thank you, Aurorunus. Nens, fucking A. Aurora. Aurora. Ah! Hello, yes, I am a native English speaker. I've been here for 20 years, 21 years. And I appreciate your support. Because right now I'm currently just kind of getting the couple people I do. Weirdly enough, this is my more, sp more popular series than the Terraria one. The Terraria one is neat because I'm, I'm adding my own self-imposed challenge. But I kind of started this one just as a passion project, and I've gotten a lot of viewers from the Terraria one as well, but this one is... Oh! Oh, I'm feeling this one. This one's right in my soul. It's that passion game you played as a kid. Well, actually, I didn't play this one as a kid because it's new. This is that sequel to a game you loved as a kid that got that sequel years later. Dude, you say I got the name right again, but I just said shit like four times. Uh, whatever. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, weirdly enough, this is my most popular series. I was not thinking the series was big as it was, but I've gotten like three, four followers, uh, more cons like consistent viewers from this series, and that very much warmed my heart. Even, um, I don't know if he still does it, but... The creator of the game found my first two videos. It's like, it's pretty much it was me playing the first three games and it was episode one of the third game and he commented on them and I personally found that amazing. Yeah, there's uh, one problem with this game though is that I'm kind of just talking about how much I like it. Not what's actually going on on screen because it's kind of bog standard at this point. We've been here for a while. Once you've played this game as much as we have on this stream, and we've seen some of these big boy moments, stuff like this just kind of becomes, oh yeah, no, we're, we're just going through the motions right now. We fought this dude, we fought his base form twice, and now we're fighting his upgraded form for a second time, so it's like, we know this guy. Crit diamond golem all scary, alright. But typically... For my kind of content, I typically always like to- typically, yeah, being redundant again. I've always enjoyed having, instead of just playing a game a standard way through, I like to have self-imposed challenges or something of some sort. Something to make it a bit more unique. Not even just to pull in views, but to just make the more ex the experience a bit more versatile than what's standard out there, because this is a cutthroat market, man. You're not gonna make it very far, very far if you're too boring, standard, or... The basic pitch. 
So, of the games I've played thus far, I've played Paper Mario, and I did a mod that was the Paper Mario Pro mode, which made the game really, really hard, except that was the first uh, recorded stream I did that I uploaded to YouTube, and that one had horrible audio mixing, where typically you couldn't hear me over the game. Oops! I fucked it up. I think the next one I did, that was just Persona 1, because not a lot of people have played that game, but that game's kind of bad. Like, I, oh, well, that is the only game I have, like, kind of gave up on. But it was after the final boss, so whatever. Then we had all of the Lisa games. Oh, those are really dark, but man, were they some of my favorites. I played through that whole game with a challenge mode of every... I had to use the weakest party members I could possibly get. Because there's, like, 30 party members in that game. That one's fun. If I had to recommend a game, I would highly recommend going out, buying, playing, whatever... Lisa the Painful, that's a very dark game, so not for the faint of heart, but, you know, it's also got lots of levity, I enjoy that. And then after that, we played a Lisa fan game, so that was typically in the Lisa, Lisa spectrum, and then here we are. I've only played a couple games, because I have to only do these for two hours, and twice a day for two hours, and I guess now we're actually doing Terraria, so... I'm doing multiple things. But I was actually running into the problem nowadays of what am I gonna do next is the question I'm asking myself. Because I have games I can play, but I don't know which one would be interesting. Like, I tried way back in the day to do a Pokemon Nuzlocke, and I got my ass kicked because I haven't played a Pokemon game in such a long time. And I, of course, decided to one-up the difficulty and not just play anything standard. Oh no, I had to go for some of the hardest additional challenges that I could possibly shovel into my own face. Also, I played a Pokemon game I had never played before, which would be the first generation. Oops. Don't do what I do. I'm not a smart man. I'm trying to think, what games could I play next? I could do Pokemon, because I was thinking maybe I could have one person from chat pick each one of my Pokemon and I just have to use them. They'd be my team, but I don't know about that. I could do, like, a one Pokemon run. Oh. Hmm. Where am I going? What am I doing? What am I feeling? Uh, Anna finally has her mana back, but Matt's having some issues. No, it's... Huh. Neat. For me, I have a bit more of a uh, kind of make-or-break kind of strategy for this whole thing. I've always wanted to be an entertainer, for sure. I'm not a very social person. I'm actually incredibly anti-social. So typically, I have a very hard time in social situations. So I've never been one for getting an instrument or coming out on stage like a comedian or something. Or even being an uh, actor. I even like thought about that. The only other avenue, like, even similar to this I wanted to do was voice acting, but I am really bad at networking, so that could probably never happen. So for me, I've always wanted to be an entertainer, but I needed a way of properly supporting myself. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna start streaming. And this is a uh, double-edged sword, however, because, well, not so much a double-edged sword, more of a, uh, really just a bad situation overall for me. Because I have back problems, I have scoliosis, and I can't work very many hours. Typically, I currently am working one hour a day. So, I have family familial support, so I'm not, like, hurting for anything, but... I'd personally prefer this to work out, in my opinion, you know? <laughs> I just... You now there's, there, there's my life story, yeah? Lots of fun, uh, lots of fun personal stories we're bringing out today. No, nah, don't worry about it. I grew up, I've, uh, I've known about it for a long ass while, and if I, this streaming thing doesn't work out, I'll be fine. I'm just saying, hey, it's my motivation for starting this. It's not like it hurts me. It, it does hurt me, because that's the whole point. It's a disability. But, aside from that, I'm talking, like, emotionally. I'm not, like, struggled by it. Someone who's genuinely disabled wouldn't care as much. Also, can I... Please stop having Aunt Mad uh, for fucking Natalie have no man. Here, I need to fix this right now. Okay, you can't Genesis. You know what? 
You know what it's time for? I need all of this to be not happening anymore. I am done with all of this. And enough with the sob stories. I just wanted to get that out there because we were talking about backstory. How's it going, dragon? How you been, my boy? You know what? If there's any time I'm busting this out, it's now. Let's get to it, to it. Oh, that's a rune claw. Oh, we're set. This is a setup phase, okay? Because it wants to have one way for all the unique enemies. Oh, wow. Well. So let's start buffing and. Oh, we need to get him out of here, actually. Lance is useless. Actually, no, he's not useless, but he's gonna be useless here in like two seconds. Ah, oh, jeez. Rune Claw is more annoying than anything. Not a crazy strong enemy, but it is technically a unique enny only summoned by a strengthened boss, so there's something to be scared of there, at least. Very high evade, weak to water, weak to wind. Well, luckily, she does shit for damage in both of those elemental types. It's fantastic. You're weak to wind, right? Oh, you're weak to water. What am I doing? Easy. This is gonna miss. Oh, no, there it goes. Fight. All right. All right, Praetorian, please come here and kick my ass. Thank you. Yeah, uh, is this the time we want to be busting out over limits? Not quite yet. All right, swap, uh, Natalie. Wait, no, what am I doing? No, swap her back for, no, okay. First we reflex, because I'm like, oh man, I got to reflex Lance. No, I don't actually have to reflex next. Now, to pay. <laughs> Now, we come in here and we lower this man's evasion because his evasion is at, like, 30,000, and that is not okay. It's not actually that high. Even that's a little bit ridiculous for my over-embellishing standards. But this man right here is now finally able to be slapped. And now they have Brave, so Lance needs to dispel that. Which sucks because Lance typically is not one of our boss killers. Oh, well. Great. Uh, where's that dispel? There it is, baby! And Brave's gone, and... Uh, we need a heal. Real bad, actually. There we go! And unfortunately, Matt has now run out of his own Brave, so... Oof. It's a little bit rough. Just keep slapping for now. I think next turn I'm gonna go, uh, unload on him. Yeah, this next, uh, next turn's a perfect chance. All right, time to go hard. And there is a, the scary thing of that rune, rune claw being charged. Well, pump out a cune, get that team wipe up, look at the anime, and let's go. That's all fine and dandy. Now, what do we got? You weak to water, huh? Oh, well, that's a darn shame. No, you're fine, Uro. That's whatever, dude, I'm 21. You think I know what I'm doing? Dude, I'm barely like a sentient human being. I bust out the Ragnarok. I don't want to risk it with this dude getting a charge. Kablamzos, baby. Oh, that's not nice. It also did nothing. <laughs> okay, bust out another reflex, and then we shouldn't pre Torian yet. We need to we need to hold our roll. Slow our roll just a touch. She does, like, nothing to this man, because it's wind. But at least it's something. Maybe I can, like, look. Maybe I can lower his evasion or something with her. Oh, not like that. That's definitely not, not what we want to be seeing. Oh, bye, Natalie. Have fun. And problem solved. I am not about to have starting a level-scaled... Super end mode boss have 50% higher of both of his offensive stats. And I don't know if you know, but that is a bad thing to have happen. Do not do that to yourself. Only bad things happen. We must stop all of these buffs. We also have to stop one also very important thing, which is using this stupid claw sword. Because as nice as it is, not quite cutting it against a dude who's resistant to poison. So let's go with the water sword now and stop having problems. Because for now, now we can start gaining some advantage. Gotta get our over limits again. We gotta lower his evasion. It's starting to cause, some oh boy. It's starting to cause some problems here in like two seconds. So 
All right. Tag Lance out because... Uh, no, I need to lower his evasion. Fucking it, what do I want to do here? I have to lower his evasion. That is like a standard. And then we can tag in Natalie. All fine and dandy fun things. And just pop a full heal. Next turn, we're gonna probably gonna pump out a Praetorian to start just murdering everyone. I'm gonna Praetorian the Pravian there. Praetorian, son. Oh. Oh, no. I, I killed him. Alright, get out of here, Lance. You're, you're done with your shit. Uh, unfortunately, now they're braved. That's not what we like to see here. Pump out a Protect. Okie dokie, lots of physical defense. Follow that up with summoning our boy's base form versus himself. All fun and dandy. And that's a follow-up to, uh, continued murder. Not that that's, uh, what we've established thus far. Oh, that's also not nice. This is very much so not what we want to be seeing. Because for now, we gotta... We gotta stop this whole... Shit, he's still siphon. Yeah, it's not worth it to even attack him right now. Ah, jeez. Okay, I guess I'll actually dispel him. There we go. What is up with it? This is like one of the easiest. You'd assume this big old, like, mechanized of the knight who's proceeding to come and try to whoop my ass would be a more threatening foe. He's not. Weirdly enough. Seems balance is strange to me. Oh, proceed to keep slapping. What do you do, though? Eh, just win. Whatever. Natalie doesn't do too much because Anna needs to regenerate for right now. Yes, kill the Praetorian, and then we'll finish off on Rafflesia, and then that'll be the first monster marathon done. Oh, he's dead. Oops. Oh, that's a darn shame. And he's back. It was a darn shame. Ah, uh, just lower his evasion again. Really max out on that so I don't have to deal with it later. Slap him with water. He's almost dead now. All good. Oh, boy. I've sung its praises, but I think it really goes to show. Evasion is very, very nice in this game. Oh, yes. Pretty much in any game. If you have, like, an evasion stat that you can regularly crank out, sometimes it sucks, but you always gotta, like, test the waters with these things. Every RPG has its own flavor of what stat's the best. Sometimes you up stuff like dexterity. Sometimes you go for, like, strength build, magic build. Sometimes you go into luck. Those are rare, but they exist. But this game... Oh, yeah, you go, you have one of your dudes, big old Matt over here, going for the biggest meaty slaps you can get and go for evasion. This one's not quite the same kind of thing where you kind of just get every stat, but if you had to focus anything, give Natalie evasion and give Matt the big slaps. Anna and Lance are filler. The OG team all day. All right, take these guys out of here. I'm done with them now. I think I may have to swap my sword here in like two seconds, because I know Rainbow Rafflesia is not not gonna be okay with what I'm trying to do. Actually using a water attack on a flower. I, I don't know if you can tell, but that doesn't quite work, you know, logistically. Maybe don't do that, huh? Alright, flower friend. What are you weak to? Oh yeah, that's right. I think Rainbow Rafflesi is only weak to wind. Ugh. That's a funky element to be weak to. Oh boy, could you have been anything else? I think I can count on one hand the amount of wind attacks there are. There are these two. And that's about it. Maybe, you know what? Actually, she, I forgot, she has magic of the hurricane. So there's like three more, but typically only use two. And Matt, I think his... What's that called? A uh, power metal. I think that's wind, but that's it. There's like no wind. That's a rare element. And all of those are multi-hitting with... Th three of them are all, like, multi-hitting moves. And the other three are single target. And two of them are garbage. So, you don't do a whole lot of wind damage in this, that's for sure. 
there. He's paralyzed and doomed. So this dude's just gonna die in two turns. I don't gotta worry about him. I mean, I'm still gonna, but... This gives me a really solid baseline to start buffing out the wazoo. I don't know if it's worth it to let him die to the doom. Probably. Let's at least check it out. I'm just gonna te have Matt temper himself. Oh, he has no mana. Let's actually fix that instead. I was gonna temper him to just give him more stacks of brave, but... Oh, well, never mind. Hello, you rainbow bastard. You think you can handle me now? I'm not even worn down over these fights. The only thing I don't got for you is an overlimit. Well, that'll, that'll change shortly. How do we want to handle our Mr. Friend? Just win. Win standard, follow it up with Anna doing AoE, and Matt just trying to murder as hard as he possibly can. I need a wind attack. Well, the we weapon's wind! There it is. See that? It's easy. Why would I have to use a dedicated wind skill? I do not think... I don't think Matt actually has a dedicated wind skill. So, yeah, he's the only one who doesn't have one, and even then, the only reason Natalie has one is because she had to manually learn the thing. No, no, Matt does. No, he, yeah, he's right. Yeah, this is wind damage. <sighs> well, it's garbage because it's a magic attack. All right, there. Fine. Well, hit your semantics out of my face. All right, now we're doing negative damage to this man for like an hour. Because Matt does not actually have a super effective way of, you know, dispatching with foes that doesn't involve him tiring himself in this damn legend. Ah. I guess just basic attack for now. I mean, why not? I don't know if this one's the source of cast stuff. I, you know what? Let's actually check that. Okay, Mr. Flower, get out of here. Hello, Mammoth! Goodbye, Mammoth. What does this do? Counter attacks with will boost power. Okay, no, nah, it doesn't. Damn it. Oh. What do we want to do here? Oh, heal. Yeah, this is the this is the slow part of this fight where we're waiting for our over limits and we're waiting to actually be able to do damage to him. Because for now, no. There's no way we're doing a whole lot of damage. Because we don't have Matt having his over limit, we can't bust out another Kuhn, so. We're we're slow boys for now. He's got double the normal HP. You know, you're you're saying a lot, but the, I know for a fact that's just never gonna happen because I don't play Fortnite. I'm not even the biggest fan of shooters, so if, if that happened, the whole gaming landscape would have dramatically shifted in the form of a day and I'd be more impressed than anything. Like, oh boy. Yeah, my style of games, you know, turn-based RPGs, RPGs in general, really, are not the most, like, widely acclaimed because, like, OG turn-based RPGs kind of have a bad rap, like Final Fantasies and whatnot. People are fans, but a lot of people also don't like those kind of games because they find them boring. So I thought, hey, I'm passionate about them. Maybe I can find my niche streaming, and hey, at least I have something going on. It's not great, but I got 50 and some change followers. It's going pretty fine. For now, we just need to keep slapping this man in the face. Oh boy. We just. We're just waiting right now, very, very slowly, for Natalie and Matt to get their over limits. Maybe even just Matt, because when it happens, we're fine. But until then, we're gonna very, very slowly kill this man. Oh boy. It's a long con and a half, for sure. Yeah, even Matt, the dude who's designated for doing the most possible just butt-fuck ton of damage, does not do a whole lot when his only way of dealing damage to the other flowers is his AoE, and his AoE is hot garbage. I know. That's why I said, if the if I was ninja in one day, the whole gaming landscape as an entirety would have to change fundamentally, so that'd at least be interesting to see, but... Oh. That would be interesting to see, actually. See, hearing, like... I don't know. 
Imagine if something like Octopath Traveler or Bravely Default or any of those kind of games. The, every new Final Fantasy game is this widely acclaimed masterpiece. It's a weird, it's a weird era to be in. Call it like Final Fantasy becomes the new Call of Duty. That's. I don't know if I want this. You know what? Can we take this back? Can I opt out, actually? You know what? Never mind. I'll take the personal hit so you guys don't have to deal with that, because that sounds disgusting even from my perspective. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not... I mean, I've played some Call of Duty games. I'm not a big, like, shooter fan, and I'm not gonna hate Undo, because they're solid games. They're just, like, the main target for, haha, look at how bad this game is. It's just how it is. That's the internet. Everyone's gotta have some kind of a target, and that's really what Call of Duty is, so... I mean, they're, they're okay. Personally, I actually like the games for the zombies feature, but that's, like, most people would agree with that, and some of the games have good multiplayer. I'm also actually a bit partial to the Battlefield games. I don't know. I, I kinda like shooters and passing. I never feel particularly impassioned, but I'm also not the kind of person who says, like, Blank Shooter series is hardline garbage. Except for PUBG, because I played that and that was garbage. And, okay, that's mainly, again, just me, because... My taste in video games are the most skewed anyone could ever be. I remember having... We were fighting this same guy, actually, when we were, like, his base form, all the way back in those days. We were having a conversation about... Hey, let's listen to Bio and his, like, controversial, like, opinions on video games. Breath of the Wild was only okay. I hated Odyssey. Uh, Fortnite is very meh. PUBG sucks. Are there any games that I like that people don't like? I, the one I always say is, uh, I've 100% Sonic R twice because I'm an animal and I enjoy fun games. Uh, I guess anything beyond that would be more old games, because I haven't actually played a whole lot of new games that I genuinely enjoy, because I'm very poor, and I have a lot of old games. Like, Sunshine's my favorite Mario game, because I'm, again, an animal. My, my taste in video games is the most fractured, and, like, it's like this, that weird one dude in the party who stands in the corner, doesn't talk to anyone, and leaves 30 minutes in. Oh boy. All right, let's let's get some slapping. Get some slap in, slapping both either or. It's all applicable. Ah. Ah. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, just. Man, I'm really not doing anything. This is the most placid of all of the fights. Like, there's no danger of death. None. This dude has barely gotten me to half HP, let alone actually killed anyone. He's no crystal golem, that's for sure. I already said the danger of this dude is randomly being able to crash your game. If we're talking Sonic games, Sonic Unleashed was garbage. You know what? I'm just gonna say it right now. Okay. Nighttime sections were bad. Daytimes were pretty all right. Uh, I'm a I'm an adventure junkie. I'm that kind of guy. To be fair, I grew up with GameCube. Didn't have a whole lot of money. I played a lot of my games to religiously. So I find the adventure style to be my favorite. And a lot of people are starting to dispute that opinion, but or that style. Some people are boost fans. Some people are classic fans. A lot of those OG adventure fans are starting to uh, be shedded by the wayside. But you know what? I'm sticking with it. I still enjoy it. It's definitely a flawed master, a flawed game, but I greatly enjoy it personally. It's the definition of a flawed masterpiece. As a man much smarter than me once said, it's like a bag of lucky charms. You kind of just deal with all the bits of, like, garbage and you just wait to get those really good marshmallowy bits you know you kind of just deal you kind of just forget and bypass the bad stuff that's more just to make a like a whole thing and you just savor those really good nuggets of enjoyment that's oh man i've got i got a got a lot of air going on right now oh boy having a fun time 
Right, I have managed to kill this dude without even getting my over limit. That is how little damage this man is allowed to do. This was a long fight and minimal actual threat of danger. The illusion of difficulty, everyone. It just took a very long time. Ugh. You know... Ah, what? No, no, I will say that. Here's a here's a minor thing a lot of people don't talk about in games: the backgrounds. Typically, like scenic area outside. Like for this game, it would be this background up here. This like cloudy nonsense. This game doesn't really do anything with it. It's kind of just an excuse to have it. And we have the magic defense flare. All right, but I've always been a big fan of those. Like the scenic like nonsense you're not allowed to see. Like what? Like let's say you're playing a game. Like hey man, what's across that mountain? I've enjoyed that. I, uh, the one that I always think of for that kind of garbage is, um, weirdly enough, Super Monkey Ball for the GameCube. That game is the game that started it all for me, the, enjoying the scenery of a game greatly. Not even like direct scenery like a city, but just the, like, the beyond area. Backgrounds, miscellaneous filler details they do to fill in space. I've enjoyed that, because that game had some sexy ones. Now we have to regenerate all of our, like, shit again, so we're just gonna be here for a sec. Alright, let's finish up this second one, and we're probably... Would the Monster Marathon take a full hour? Uh, we're 36 minutes in, and we're about to fight... This is the shortest one, but hardest of them all, is the Dark Characters Marathon. Uh, but I have to regenerate first either way, so I gotta wait Either or. Man, regeneration takes a while. You know what? Uh, screw it. Where's... Oh, I don't have the... Oh, I do have the baby ones. Bap, 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 bap. All right, mission accomplished. Save it up. Slam him down. All right, friend. And now, yep, we got to face him two at a time instead of one at a time. So this is effectively... All the other ones were one at a time. You get to fight boss after boss. Not this time. This time, they're shoving all of them just straight into your face. Actually, we gotta fix one thing first. There's one important detail we gotta fix. Do not have the wind sword equipped. What am I doing with my life? Because they're all weak to holy, so... Let's start going out with holy, huh? Bust out a Praetor. Who needs to die first? Lance has a high chance of instantly killing, and Anna just busts out status conditions like no one's business. It, I guess it really depends on who you'd consider a bigger threat, and in this case, definitely Lance. Unless you have death resistance, this man's the bigger threat out of the wazoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Those are some good games. I already said before in a previous stream, Tales of Symphony is my all-time favorite game. Numero uno. The king. Untaught, in my opinion. And I played Twilight Princess for like an hour one time. Way back in the day. I've, I've seen the full game, but I'm playing it? Nah. I just haven't had the game. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, can we have Matt actually live for the one turn that I need him to be alive? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Yeah, this is when fights start getting a little bit more difficult. Because we're having difficulty staying alive long enough to mount a counter-offensive. Because, oh boy. Don't kill Natalie. You know what? That works. Yeah, they tried, but they failed, so. Eh, that one works for me, I suppose. I'm not going to be picky. I'm alive at the end of the day. So this is going to start getting really bad for us really fast once they start getting their over-limits. So, just keep slapping Lance and hope he dies. Luckily, I don't think they can summon their reinforcements when there's two of them. Maybe when one of them dies, but I'm not sure. That's it. We're still, uh, we're still up in the air about that one. Oh. Oh, no. It's about to get real bad real fast. Uh. Pray. That's all I can say to hope on this one. Send in Lance. Throw out a block. And try not to cry. Owie. 
Oof. Welcome to the dark... The dark cast fights. Oh, boy. That is the kind of thing that we'd need, like, Genesis for or something. That one was real bad. Oh, boy. Owie. Status effects are the worst. And Annie uses a lot of them. Well, ain't that reassuring? All right. Just continue trying to, like, recoup our losses for now. Because luckily we do have a lot of free effects, so we're getting a little bit of chip damage over time. But that chip damage may, maybe, that's a, that's a pretty low chance, accidentally tick off one of their over limits again. But they have way too much HP for that to be happening. Oh, hey, that works. And dead again. Hoorah. So here's what we're gonna do. We're almost out of coffee. Shit. This is about to get real bad real fast. Let me just tell you that right now. Because if, uh, Anik, your Natalie keeps dying, we're done. We gotta go out and actually go sell items to buy more coffee. Because we, we're finally running low on them bad boys. Slap them. All right, great, good, fantastic. All right, get, don't get murdered. All right. Okay. I don't think I don't think this will pop him yet. So hit him with one of these. Yeah, didn't pop him. All right. We don't need to heal quite yet. What we need to do is we don't have enough for Praetorian, so that's not viable. Pop a reflex. Get our evasion up, and I guess just heal for this first turn. It works for now. Gotta keep popping them reflexes. Luckily, that's a pretty inaccurate attack, I say, as it hits me every time, despite the fact it's supposed to be inaccurate. Oh, bye! Oh, well, that felt fantastic. Uh, temper yourself, so that way I can cleaver next turn. Just heal us again, and we need more evasion. We gotta stay on top of evasion. Because evasion only works if... So, if your enemy's accuracy is above your evasion... Uh, did she just ate an entire bat? She just shoved the whole thing into her face. Well, that's a little, that's, oh, oh no. But, yeah, uh, if your evasion is lower than their accuracy or vice versa, you will never uh, dodge. It'll never miss. So only once you start getting your evasion higher than the enemy's accuracy can you start dodging attacks. Also, it's about to get kind of bad for us, so, <laughs> no. We're probably still gonna die, because this is gonna kill all three of us, but whatever! Losses are losses, and we're about to live at least through one more turn. And hey, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed your nap. And back down she goes. Hey, Lance, welcome to the party. I, uh, I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, we're currently serving lots of corpses, because now we're out of ways of making them not that. Oh, dearie, dearie me. So I was wondering, am I going to have enough time for the Monster Marathon? Probably not at this rate, because I don't think we're living through the rest of this fight. Would you look at that? <laughs> we got to prep a bit more. Okay. We need more coffee. We also got to... I'd preferably like to start that fight with over limits, but oof. Actually getting your over limits, like out of combat in this kind of area, is a little bit rough. So, we're actually gotta go and get a little bit of cash. Get the shit kicked out of me for a little bit. Let's go to the final area. Because those enemies don't give me anything. They're not gonna give me AP, XP, gold, anything. So, let's go pick a fight with a dragon and hope this gives me my over limits. Hello! That's not just a dragon, he brought friends. This isn't what I asked for. All right. What are you weak to? Weak to dark? Yeah, that's really should be expected. You know, I really should just max out on my skills, but I wanted to show off that, yeah, you can beat Battle Mountain even level 31. I've been skipping fights. I've done zero grinding. I've maybe bought a couple, like, craftables for my items, but I have not done any... I've gotten all the chests, and that's all the grinding you actually need. I haven't even done the zombie hydra, so... I have done a hot zero on grinding, so just to show that it's possible... 
but this is the first time I've done it actually because I need cash more so than anything. Oh, ba 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 ba, get him out of here and just start being Matt for a little bit, I suppose. Honestly, all we actually need is to just take some hits. That's what we're here for, so. We gotta get them over limits. These guys are really stunning us a lot. Well, honestly, we kind of got what we wanted, so let me recoup for a sec. Let's go do a little bit of shopping, huh? Hey, can we heal? I don't think we can, like, heal in this menu. No. I can't I can't even have, uh, have her use her, like, heal more. I wonder why. Oh, well. I got a lot of, like, garbage heal items, so. There we go. Free easy, son. I keep slapping me for a little bit. No, oh, that'll work, actually. I may actually just kill them in one turn accidentally, if anything. This could get real bad for them, just for no other reason than it's only one wave, and this game has a very weird time balancing waves. Like, so instead of making the enemies individually difficult, they like to make, just throw three waves of enemies at you. That'll make it difficult. I don't, I don't know, I'd rather have one wave of actually hard enemies than three waves of more like minor nuisance enemies that just takes a while to kill down and they may get a lucky break so right now they both charge this is a perfect chance so we can send in lance and have him take both of these straight to the face that'll get him to his over limit real hard like i could siphon them or dispel them or whatever to get rid of this charge but nah i think we're fine Slap this dude for a little bit. There we go. And Uba! There it is. Not quite actually over limit. That did less damage than I had assumed. This guy sucked. I didn't even hit Natalie. You suck more than I thought. Ah, jeez. I have no idea because I've not played it. This probably came out first, but I wouldn't know because I haven't played it. Shit, I should I just used coffee. We're, we're here to get more of that, not waste it. Please continue to hit Natalie. Thank you, actually. That's what we're here for. We can ah uh, well. Mm -mm. Now that I think about it, I may actually need to forcibly bust out the uh, defense staff that I had tucked away in a back pocket a little while ago. Give me more damage, Natalie's. Base evasion is above most enemies standard accuracy, so they have a hard time hitting her She is she's a bit too good at not being murdered She's like look at this this dude just keeps missing We're gonna get these free actions and just kill them before the fight is even ready to go Like look at this this is just free damage right now. I'm not doing anything. I'm just skipping my turn each turn like, there you go, you finally did it. You only got her, like, halfway up the rest of the bar, though. And that's with a turn- that took a turn to charge! Oh, boy. Oh, oh, no more damage. Oh, boy. Sure do love him when he misses, like, a lot. Oh, boy. Oh, you're not dead? Okay, well now you are. Grim Reaper himself is like, <laughs> Whoa there, friend. I think you and I know that's a little fishy and just, just slapped him down. He just says, Alright, you know what? You've overstayed your welcome. He just put his foot right through that man's face. I think it's going to take like one more fight to get our over limits. Alright. At least give us like a solid start for that. A little bit more SP, a little bit of cash. All good things we're going to be needing up ahead, so... The most bare minimum of grinding. And to be fair, if you really needed to grind for God Cat, just pop off on some good old... Uh, what are they referred to as? Zombie Hydras. They'll carry you all the way to infinity. Slap those guys around for a bit. That's what I do. I grind off those guys on my level 50 characters. Those dudes take hours to level up. And that's how you gotta grind. Oh, that, that felt fantastic. Can you not do holy attacks on the lady who's pretty resistant? No, her step. What's her resistance actually? Wait a minute. 
She's kind of pretty resistant to holy. Yeah, all right. I was at least I was right. That's what matters. Man, I really do need to start actually brainstorming what the next game I was gonna be. I really was feeling give each person in chat one Pokemon to pick, and whatever Pokemon they pick is the Pokemon I gotta use, like, and then until I get six. But I don't know. I wa I had other ideas, but I don't. Kind of felt the Pokemon. But I don't know if that was enough to be interesting. Only it would of course it depend on what the people pick, I suppose. I'm kinda of feeling Pokemon. I don't know though. I guess I guess it's just like I guess unless I get stopped, I'm probably just gonna do that. That's usually how it goes down. I kinda of throw ideas out there just at the in at the void of anyone listening in these things and, and then I just kinda of decide for myself because they just don't get a whole lot of feedback. So Probably gonna be Pokemon! What generation? Do I still have my Gen 1 like thing? If that's the case, probably that one, because I've like never played Generation 1. It'd probably be it was Leaf Green too, because I'm like, everyone always talks about Fire Red. I'm like, you know what? Let's play the other one. So I did. And it's what happened. Alright. As long as you're fine with the dragon, I'm fine with whatever I'm saying. I like RPGs. RPGs are cool. Almost got that over limit and almost ran out of fucking mana! Nom. Alright, there we go. Uh, well, we're having some mana issues. All fun things. Stop doing that. Stop doing that! Oh, buddy, oh boy, why are you like this, Mr. Friendo? Well, now I can't revive them, thanks. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, it did, like, nothing to that cat. The dog, mage, whatever it's referred to. That's not an over-limit. That's not an over-limit! How about you actually hit her this time, friend? Man, she's a slippery one, that's for sure. I'm just gonna keep flapping him. It does negative damage, but every time I do it, it has a chance to instant- Oh, no, they're immune to instant death. Uh, maybe that's a bad idea. But, hey, there it is! Ha 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 ha! Now we just wait, like, you know, a turn or two, and then, you know, we'll be fine. That's the over limit we needed to be seeing! At least, at least this video wasn't, isn't, has broken out of the habit of hour-long Epic Battle Fantasy streams. Because these have kind of been real, these real short chunkers. And only Natalie gets another level. The other two are dead, and that's no longer my problem. Let's see what we have lying around that I can finally upgrade to see if it's good. I could actually- we actually saw purpose for Hailstorm. I mean, it was okay, don't- but I'm gonna stick to my general idea. Because with my general idea, that's... None of this is really fantastic, but I guess I'll use Frost Arrow, because, uh, whatever. Up the basic attack, too, sure. Matt, in his final bout of upgrading nonsense, he has, like, nothing to upgrade. Other than, like, Ragnarok, and we do not have enough SP for that bad boy. So, uh, yeah, Matt's just done. Matt just gets, like, revenge. Alright, fantastic. Power depends on current HP and number of dead allies. Element and effect depends on current weapon. It's actually pretty cool. I've, I never really use revenge. It's never been my shtick. So, at least it's a neat move. I don't think she's got a whole lot going on for her right now, yeah. So, I guess water, maybe? Wait, can I upgrade Judgment? Yes, I can. You know what? I was just thinking about it. I'm like, wait a minute. How am I going to deal with Dark Matt? That would help. And Lance is a Lancey boy who doesn't have a whole lot going for him either that he needs to upgrade. I could hit Hyper Beam. That'll give you some value, to be fair. So... I could just hit an Over Limit if I'm, like, real spicy. But I think I'm just going to be basic and go for this. Yeah, you can see, this is only level, this isn't even fully ranked up yet, and that's a lot of base damage. That's why the accelerator is pretty nice. But... Alright, now we have, can buy 106 coffees after those two fights. So, let's go buy some coffees, huh? Thank 
That's a lot of caffeine. Damn it, I had a full team of 31s, and now I have the 132. The symmetry is gone. Well, that gave us a little bit of SP, so, yeah, whatever. All right, let's, uh, oh, that's right, they respawn, but it doesn't, it's not like it matters. And we've already lit their torches, so, and screw it. Okie dokie, and let's get straight down to it. Got some upgrades. Do, 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 do. Wait, oh, 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 wait a minute. No, 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 no. We can actually change our equipment now that I think about it. Um, da, 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 da. That's a pretty nice time. Natalie, does he give dark resistance? Yes, it does, actually. So that's pretty value. All right, I guess it checks out. You know what? Fine. That actually makes her immune to instant death, so. She's 200% resistant to that bad boy. And Lance, that's dark. Bomb. You don't need the fire one, I don't feel. What does Lance need? Lance needs... It's not like we do a whole lot of fire. I guess just slap on the accelerator for now, because now that hyperbeam's actually worth it. Alright. Okay! Now it's time to fight. And we got a free slap from the Grim Reaper. And I, I guess a free heal. Okay, then. Uh, save the over limit. Bust out a... Start with Protect, actually. As a nice as Evasion is, it's never gonna happen on the first casting, so... Bust out the 70% increased defense. That's pretty value. Of both kinds. Oh, and now he has a shit ton of buffs. She has 70% increased physical defense, and that still almost one hit her. Welcome to these guys being absolute monsters. Oh boy. Now let's fix up that, you know, horrible scar you just inflicted to yourself. Oh boy. So, you know, Lance is real scary with all them buffs, so I'm gonna. Just, oh shit, phone's dying. Shit. And it's the enemy's turn. It's not my problem. And that's a dead teammate. Come on, so too. This is the fucking worst time. Plugging shit in. Give me two seconds. You know what? Here, let me take my turn. Uh, revive. Evasion. All the same stuff we've been doing. We're just doing it again now. More evasion. I don't actually know if we're ever gonna get high enough evasion to actually dodge these dudes. Because I know Lance's whole shtick is he's stupidly accurate. And I don't know about Natalie, though. Uh, any elements of status effects, poison earth, wind, thunder, ice, and yeah, 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 summons, alright, whatever. <clears throat> and that's the one to do it! Oh shit, that's the wrong, that's the weaker of the two swords, what am I doing? Oh, well, she's dead again, alright, fantastic. And now I have a million turns of auto-revive, so at least we're still doing fine in that regard. I do not know how I'm supposed to keep Anna alive right now. She just gets gunned down with impunity. Like, whoa, boy. Yeah, Light Blade sucks. Oh, yeah, 110 base power. How about 200? Get him! Terraria is good. Oh. Oh, Terraria good. That's good. Hey, wait. He dispelled her, you cheeky bitch. Gmod is one of those games you can only really play if you have friends, otherwise it's boring as all sin. It gets real old real fast. It's a great, it's a great, like, group game. Though. And then dead again. Can I, like, can we, this dude stop having buffed evasion? I can't exactly send in the dude, aka Lance, to stop Lance from being buffed because my teammates won't stop dying. Death just keeps happening to me. I can't keep them alive long enough. Give me one turn where they're all alive and I can fully turn this fight around to the Q in the Genesis. But I can't hit him and I can't stay alive. They just keep killing Anna. And they're slowly chipping down the rest of us. It's just like, please stop doing what you're doing. 
Up. Uh, I really wish there was a way of giving up your turn and letting Ad Natalie actually have the turn that she needs because she's never getting it. I cannot keep this bitch alive. Try healing, I guess. With every, like, scrap of it I can get my hands on. Oh, wait. Oh! <gasps> God damn it. God damn it. Up. Uh, all right. Fantastic. Heal us up again. Up. Uh, we're having a much harder time this time. I got more prepared for this fight, and I'm still having just infinitely a worse time. Dead. All right. Great. Fantastic. Thanks, by the way, for that one. And now we try again. Please stay alive, Anna. I just, I, I keep buffing our physical defense because these dudes do a lot of physical damage, but, but, but I just can't. They just, they just keep doing it anyway. I can't stop them. He's gonna get his over limit like next turn, so. Yeah, okay, well now Matt's dead. Now he's not dead, but now he's dead again. Even with the, like, pure value auto revive, I, I can't do it. It's, it's just not possible. Try to buff evasion, I guess. I'm gonna tell you have that 70% increased evasion, it's never happening. Plus, Lance has upped accuracy, so nope. Thank you, Genesis. Slapped. What are you weak to? Bomb. You know what? We have bomb. We can provide bomb. We want to get, like, a prep bomb. We got the over limits. All good. So we have the auto life. Unfortunately, I had to swap in out. Oops. Whatever. And there we go, baby! Ha 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 ha! To die. Okay, great. And oh, the down he goes again. I'm fully stunned, so I they just get another turn. Oh, that's real fun. Oh, that's real fun. And she's Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my god, the value. Oh my but Jesus. How on earth am I alive right now? I just happen to have her stupid pass effect of the medipack fall down. And cure us. Value. Holy sword, I need him dead. One more of those and he's dead. I think I'm dead anyway because, yeah. Fuck that move. Well, we're living again. I don't understand how, but we're living. This, uh, this time we have no, like, backup plans. Pray. Pray this works, son. Cross your fingers. Hit him and kill him. Preferably crit. Having both of them alive is an absolute death sentence. It's almost as if they were initially introduced as a... You fight one of them at a time and they'll like summon minions. Not this time. Now you're fighting two bosses and both of them are post-game super bosses. Oh, boy. It's a rough fight all throughout. Let's get our over limits again for the next wave. Because if you can see in the bottom right, we're not done yet. There's two waves. Buff our physical... I don't think they're actually going to summon minions now that she's alone. But thank you for that, really. And she's going to get her over limit here in like a turn, so we're probably just going to start dying. Oh. That's not very nice. It's actually best to have Matt take his turn first, so that way I can see if she's gonna get her over limit, which she is, and I can have Natalie just, you know, auto-revive herself. All good things. And because I know both of us are dead, I'll just cast Guardian on Natalie, because that gives more value than casting Reflex. Oh, she can summon minions now. Okay. 
Did that dispel? That fucking dispelled as it hit. That is the definition of cheeky, cheeky, cheeky right there. Oh, boy. <sighs> you son of a bitch. And now we got a big old worm to deal with, too. Fantastic. Now we Don't kill Natalie. Okay. Well, at least Lance and Matt have pretty much infinite, um... Auto life, because there's no way they're living long enough for that to fade naturally. So it's effective. Uh, she's like out of mana, so let's just tag her out. At least give her a turn to regenerate, you know? Start slapping Anna some more. Owie. Owie. Alright. You know what we're gonna do here? Swap into Natalie. Then we're gonna come over here, cast Hyper Beam because we got it for free. That's just free damage. And we revive Anna. And then we top it off by bringing Matt back out and shoveling a pizza into our face. And there we go. That gets all of our mana back, which is all that we needed right there. Oh boy. We've been needing to get our foot back in this fight for a long while, and it took us took us a good couple turns to really get back into this fight, but we're finally there, you know? Buff our defense. B okay, buff our magic defense, buff our defense, and just come in swinging next turn. There we go. Now we're real beefy. We're maximum beef boys right now. Out of life, okay. Hey, Windows Defender Summary, you wanna not do that? Thanks. Slap. And that's an over limit, so that means pop a reflex and hope it's not power burst again, which dispels and auto revive that. Now. Oh god. Damn it. It didn't dispel this time. Uh, yes, it did. It dispelled Natalie. I don't... It doesn't say when it dispels for some reason. Like, I was looking out specifically for the dispel text. It didn't show up. If it is, it was beneath, like, the over limit or something, because I didn't see shit for dick, son. Now we gotta cure Matt of his, uh, crippling inevitable death in one turn. Oh, well, uh, inevitable death, like I said. And there it is. <laughs> hey! Okay, finally, we're getting... We're almost at the second wave. We're not quite at the second wave yet, but we're almost there. Just a bit 